Okay, so this is the home page for the course, Writing 328, Writing Style and Technology. Um, the course is actually changing a bit, and it's, it's really more, of course, emphasizing the style part and the writing part and less the technology part, but you'll see what I mean when we get it to it. Um, the basic thing to start with here is the syllabus, and this gives some of the basic uh, details that you see with all kinds of other syllabi. My last name is actually pronounced Krause. People say Krause. It's just one of those things. The best way to get a hold of me by far is email, but I do have office hours and phones and things like that. You can read more about the course description here. These are the two textbooks that you'll need for the course, and we'll be getting into both of these textbooks in actually the second unit of the course. You'll see what I mean here uh, when we get there. But uh, Strunk and White and the Joseph Harris rewriting how to do things with text, second edition. You for sure want to get this version of this book, but as I note here, there are other versions of this one. I want to spend a little bit of time with this part just to sort of emphasize this. Um, the thing I like about online classes is the same thing that you like. They're very flexible. There are ways that we can, you know, alter time and space in terms of when we do things. Like I'm recording this before the term even begins, um, and uh, you know, you can, you can, you don't. It can work with your work schedule. It can work with other schedules and things like that. So I like all that kind of stuff too. But the thing, a couple things are really important about this. The first thing is. As I say here at the beginning, this is not a self-paced, self-study class. And you'll see what I mean when we get to some of the details about how the discussions are scheduled. But it means that there are large windows of when you can post stuff, but you, there are deadlines and dates and things like that when you do need to post things. Um, the other thing that I want to point out here in terms of the online attendance is you have to demonstrate presence in the class by your participation. And if for some reason you don't post during a particular time frame of the course, then I will count you as virtually absent. And if you're absent too many times, you can fill the class. Also, as I mentioned here, you have to start a class like this out by being technically savvy because I can't come to your house and fix your computer. And um, I can't control your internet access or anything like that. So you have to make sure from the get-go that um, you you have good internet access, you have a decent enough computer, and you have a sort of understanding of how these sorts of things work. Now, if you have questions you want to talk with me about it, I'll do the best that I can to help. I, but I just want to point out that um, there's a lot more responsibility in taking an online class and taking a face-to-face -face one when it comes to things like this technology. Okay. Now, online discussion, you'll see what I mean when we get to this in a second. The thing that's really, I just want to highlight a couple of things here real quick. The first thing that's really important is doing this in a timely fashion, okay? And you will note that discussions typically are due to begin on a Monday or a Wednesday, and then they complete by um, Wednesday or Friday. But, you, but, it, but if everybody waits until the Wednesday or Friday to participate in the discussion, then we can't really have a discussion because... The idea is to have an exchange between uh, thoughts uh, between each other um, in the online discussion forum. So that those beginning times of Mondays and Wednesdays are really important. I'll talk about that in a second. This is how I grade the online discussion part of it. It's a very simple formula. And again, what I'm really trying to um, um, focus on for the online discussions is participation in a timely and orderly fashion. So if you post initially on time, and you respond to more than one of your classmates' posts, then you get an A for that discussion section. And then you see if you for B if it's if you're late but you discuss more than one of your initial or your initial classmates' posts, you get a B. C. You post late and respond to one, or just don't respond to anybody. D. Your initial post is late and you don't respond to anybody, and if you don't participate at all, okay. Um, and then I essentially use these numbers here to calculate how many points um, you get for each part of the semester. As I say here, participation is worth 100 points for a total for each half of the semester. So in other words, uh, it's 200 points total, as I see right there, but it adds up to being 100 points than 100 points. Okay. Peer review is worth 100 points. And we'll get to this as we get the semester gets on, but I just want to emphasize that that peer review grade is actually an important part of the class because I want to um, emphasize the important role of participating in peer review in an effective way. Um, so there's points associated with that. 
The writing journal blogs we'll get to um, very, very soon. I explained this here, but the short version of this is, is that I wish there was something within Canvas that could um, hope for, that you could use to host individual um, writing journals, blog-like spaces, but there's not, so we're going to be using WordPress instead. Um, we're going to be using a pretty simple version of WordPress for doing this. You'll see what I mean when I get you to sign up for this. But the, it's best to think of the uh, of this not as blog posts where you just write about whatever you want, but rather as writing response journals where I give you a prompt and then you respond to that in a blog post and you post that. You sh it, the nice thing about this is that um, when once you share your link to your WordPress site with me, I can upload that. I will link that to every for for everybody so everybody can see each other's work and respond to it and read it and things like that. Um, and again, I talked a little bit there about green of it. There's three major projects for the class. The first thing that we'll get to is about a tele about using ancient style reading, uh, you know, tenets of ancient style to analyze a television commercial, probably something on YouTube. The second part, and this is where the books come into play, is a specific essay project about analyzing how the style manuals and rules on revision, um, an essay about that. And the third part is an essay about tracing genre conventions, a particular blog or website or something um, that uh, you can f that you can be interested in as a reader and commentator. Um, all the work for the class you'll do in terms of writing with Google Docs and you'll need to use your EMU Google account to do this. I won't be collecting anything with Microsoft Word and the reason we won't do that is because Google Docs has very particular advantages in terms of tracing revision, in terms of of commenting on each other and things, and also you're already paying for this, so you might as well use Google Docs too. As you can imagine, since it's an online class, there's not going to be any paper. Um, you need to follow MLA style. Uh, you need to pay attention to the deadlines. I don't accept uh, late projects unless you tell me ahead of time it's going to be late. I also talked here a little bit about some of the revision opportunities for the class, and we'll speak more about this as, as the term goes on. But again, the revisions are basically an opportunity for you that once we've gone through the whole process, and if you're still not satisfied with um, what you think is your best work, and you want to do better at it, and or you want to improve your grade, I have an opportunity for, for doing this. Uh, I always write this on here in this big yellow red letter just because sometimes things go awry. And that is that in order to pass the course, you must complete all the major writing projects regardless of your grades for any other components of the course, regardless of your grade with missing components. In other words, if you decided, you know what, I don't really care about doing these these writing journal posts, so I'm just going to blow that off entirely and not do any of it, um, then you'd fail the course because you have to at least you know, involve yourself in doing some of that work. And you certainly have to complete all the major writing projects. So in other words, you can't just say, I'm going to skip the paper on writing genre stuff because I don't really care about that because if you don't do that, then you won't pass. Okay? This is how the grading stuff is set up. It's pretty straightforward in terms of the, the points. Um, I have a section here that I'm not going to go through, but it's basically the fine details and other handy information. Most, most of you are probably uh, not in your first semester at EMU, so you're probably familiar with some of the resources available. Um, the two things I'll just mention, or the one thing I will mention, in so, just to highlight, is the issue of privacy. I think that some, because we're going to be sharing a lot of our writing with each other with via Google Documents, and I think that sometimes people get a little bit um, anxious about how um, sharing links like that might impact, you know, sharing website addresses and things like that. And so just be aware that... Um, I don't think that any of this is going to become a, uh, I don't think your writing is going to be existing in a public space per se, but at the same time you want to be kind of, you know, aware that it's possible that someone from outside the class could stumble across your website, your WordPress site, your Google document. And it's also one of those things where you want to use a little bit of common sense in terms of how you share information online, okay? Um, the rest of this is pretty standard stuff in terms of don't plagiarize and also the various resources that are available on campus for you. Um, I'm here to help. Um, if there's any, if you are running into a problem that you think that I can be of some service to, not only in just this class, but just on campus in general, just let me know. Okay. Okay. That's the highlights of the syllabus. Let me go back to the main homepage for the class. 
What's really important here is, is that this is how I've organized our course within Canvas. Okay, so this is what you should. This is what your web should look like when you first come to it. You hopefully clicked on that link right there. Eventually, this is going to be links to your WordPress sites. Okay, and I already have one link right there. Um, but just to sort of like jump ahead here a little bit in terms of how this will typically work. So this is a post about how to get started with WordPress. You want to do that as soon as you can. And you'll notice this is week one, Wednesday, September 5th. This is all stuff you should be doing or start doing on the first day of class, which is Wednesday, September 5th. Okay. And then our first discussion, this is the... Um, uh, this is a, 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 a the first journal blog prompt. This is the second journal blog prompt. You'll want to take a look at those. And then this is really our first discussion about um, material for the class. So what you're going to want to do, this is actually a little bit unusual because these are a couple of videos, but you're going to watch these two videos, okay? And then when you are um, when you are done with that, what you're going to want to do is post your comment about these videos here. You have to um, first post a comment before you can see what others, other people in the group said, okay? So what this means is, is that, it, and you'll notice, by the way, it says due September 11th at 12.01 a.m. 12.01 a.m., that's because it's really due September 10th, but if I put in September 10th at midnight, it, 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 it I can't do that. So basically, to make it, by, make it so that you can post all the way up until midnight on September 10th, I set it up like this. But anyways, so that's due September 10th. So what that means is, this is what we're doing today, September 5th. This is what we're doing on September 10th. So you want to continue these things uh, for each of this day. Um, by the end of the day, send email, email me WordPress address, write these two prompts, and participate in this discussion. Okay, And then we will continue on that, that path through the course of the semester. Okay, um, I don't actually have the entire um, semester set up uh, yet for a variety of different reasons. Um, so some of this is a little bit to be arranged, but I think that being able to figure it out all the way through the first project is probably fine. And these are some other important dates to keep in mind for the semester. Our last day of the semester for our purposes in terms of handing stuff in is going to be Friday, December 14th. And these are some other dates that you might keep in mind for, you know, when you can withdraw and stuff like that. Okay, I think that's it. Um, again, welcome to class and um, uh, post those questions below. Be sure to introduce yourself. If you want to include a video of introducing yourself, you can do that too. As always, I'll see you online.